Okay. Welcome to the Burnouts and Rotor Blades YouTube channel. Let's go do something awesome. Welcome back to the Burnouts and Rotor Blades YouTube channel. It's a pleasure to have you back as always. Now this is the trailer that we use to move all the vehicles from uh, Las Vegas all the way back here to Texas. Chickens. Oh, now you, now you want to be quiet? Okay, all right, cool. I don't really need it anymore. It's way, way overbuilt. This thing's super heavy duty. These I-beams are massive. All this whole thing is just way, way, way overbuilt for what we need. I'm gonna sell it, but I do want the lift. The guy who installed this was in a pretty big rush and you could see that this was kind of an afterthought because this was already bolted to the trailer whenever he threw this beetle weld on here. We don't need that where we're going. Here you can see the weld was pretty much a surface weld and there's even corrosion up underneath the actual weld. The hole that he torched out right there, it structurally compromises the set of C channel. So I'm happy I'm taking this off and that I wasn't trying to use this lift while it was installed in this trailer. Jeez. Oh, come on now. You just need to come off here. He did leave one thing on it, which is actually really helpful. Was this serial number up here? It's a pretty sweet lift actually. 8,000 pound four post lift that doesn't need to be bolted in. Also came with this little tray right here. You can put an axle jack uh, in that. So one of the benefits of moving down to Texas is I have access to my dad's company's equipment and uh, in order to get this off of here, we're gonna use his giant crane on the back of this truck to do it. And if you're wondering why he's limping around, it's because he just had his quadricep reattached to his knee. That'll work. I didn't know you did tree trimming on the side. Oh yeah. That ain't going nowhere. Hopefully I can sell that trailer for enough that it kind of pays for the lift. That's really the goal. That lift new is about $2,000. So if I can sell that trailer for $2,000 less than I bought it or better, then it will have totally been worth it. It would have been a, basically a free rental to get the cars down from Vegas to here. That's the idea. You know how that works out, right guys? The next goal is to get this fence open, which is currently winning. The next goal is to get that lawnmower right there underneath all them weeds out because, well, I'm not in Vegas anymore and I do have a lawn, so I'm gonna have to take care of that. And I don't wanna push mow. You fed Gypsy to Grandma? No. You fed a horse to Grandma? No. I fed Gypsy for... Oh, for Grandma. Okay. You ready? Yeah. There we go. Good job. The wife doesn't know it yet, but uh, these are mine. Both of them. Oh my gosh! Baby walking stick. I can't wait to get to these. <laughs> got, got my daughter and my father all mowing at the same time. Hello. Before we're done for the day, we're gonna go ahead and pour some of this. Woo! It's about to be serious. We're gonna pour some of this algae stuff in my mom's pond and I just wanna show you guys. She spent like three years having this pond built and it is beautiful. It's a natural pond, doesn't use any kind of like chemicals or anything. Except for this algae bloom stopper. Literally a couple of you have asked for updates on the new house and how it's coming. The garage is a little bit smaller than the last garage, but we're not really done with it yet. One project is coming up is to actually make this two garage door thing into one garage door. I've already torn out a wall that the previous owners had for some reason installed, making 
this essentially one big laundry room just to show some other stuff from the folks that lived here before you know their dogs they let tear up all this kind of stuff right here now they did this which i actually like uh, the wife kind of likes it as well the owners before the previous owner put the crown molding up and they put these little corner pieces i really dislike this style of installation we had a tree company come in and uh, trim this tree up and now it's like a really beautiful live oak tree. We're hoping that something will get to the ground. The neighbors on both sides have like these lush lawns, but then back here, because of all the dog activity, basically nothing grew except for what they had weirdly fenced off in this little side yard here. There were some things that they tried to fix. This right here, their dogs chewed this all up and it's in the dirt as opposed to on the concrete, which doesn't make sense. A lot of cleanup needs to happen back here. There was a huge built-in cabinet right here. You can see exactly where it was, covering up this fireplace. I have no idea what kind of condition it's in. I've never had a fireplace before. Cool kind of rail they put around. Anyway, so that's the downstairs, and we haven't even really got to the downstairs. We have been spending the lion's share of our time and effort on the upstairs, and I'll show you that now. We have had a drywall guy come in and fix the whole ceiling, made it nice and straight and flat. And we just finished painting an agreeable gray here and a something taupe that the wife picked out over there. I don't know how I feel about it. We'll see once the carpet's in. The painting for the most part upstairs is done. In my daughter's room, she loves pink, so she got pink. This is the wife's office and she loves green. So she picked the green, so she gets to have the green. And I'm gonna get like what is essentially a closet downstairs for my office for editing and stuff. This is my son's room, which has this really cool uh, thing around that we're just gonna install a train track up here. I'm thinking for an alarm clock, I think it would be pretty cool. All those gross marker marks that was on the wall are, uh, are gone now. But I'm pretty happy with how this has come out and, uh, and I think it's gonna be really, really nice for, for all of us, especially once the carpet gets put in. The carpet's coming in on Monday. It's Friday now, we'll be taking all the tape down this weekend and what I'm working on right now is the tile for the bathroom. I've gone all the way that way, kept all my cuts in the back and now it's time to make the, you know, corner myself out of the room. That's what I'm working on right now. If you like more updates on the house and how things are going, uh, I'm not gonna do like how-to projects and stuff like that. That's not really what I do. That's not really what I'm good at. Heck, half the time I use YouTube to look up what I'm about to do anyways, so it's not really something I'm gonna go tell you guys how to do. But if you're interested, let me know. Shoot me a, uh, a comment down below if you see anything that would look cool or uh, maybe something I'm doing wrong, something I should do differently, um, or if you just enjoy the content. I appreciate you guys being here. As always, if you don't mind doing it solid, like okay. this and share Um, so yeah, our house, uh, we had a line let loose or something and it's, uh, it's, it's bad. It's really, really bad. The ceiling has fallen down in the whole house. There is probably, um, let's see, what is that? Maybe an inch or so of water, um, outside of the bathtub. The bathtub's dry, weird, um, but everywhere else is ruined. Um, we now have a fish bowl in our bedroom. Uh, the electricity is already off. I turned that off. That was all stuff that we bought for the house, furniture-wise, to um, to decorate, and that's all ruined now, along with like about eight thousand dollars worth of lumber that's on the floor. This uh, is what that looks like now. <gasps> oh, yeah. Yeah. New carpet that we just spent $3,500 on. Um, all the paint. Are you recording? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah.